in our last episode, due to the effects upon them of Earth's television, the crystal beings of the Gex sector have threatened humanity with destruction. Leviatron and Garbic have called upon Nimgon to accept the challenge. So, Nimgon, may I inform the Council you have agreed to meet the demands of the Gex sector and rescue this annoying planet? Well, sure, I guess. Let me check something. Hey, Bob, Larry, how are we set for traveling? I just finished the 100 billion light year front end service, and Larry's changing the oil now. All finished. We're ready to go at any time. We're set. You want us to go directly to Earth? You'd better stop at Glaflock's on the way. I'd like Glabic to brief you on the situation there. Yes, I would like to put you in touch with our contact there, Guardian Secret Master Who, and would also like to share my cultural analysis on the transmissions we've been monitoring. Who did he say is our agent on Earth? Yes! I mean, the name of the Guardian on Earth. Who? The Guardian on Earth. Who is our Guardian on Earth? How would I know? Look, what is the name of the Guardian? No, what is our Guardian on Uranus? What's my anus have to do with this? Uranus is a planet in Earth's system. Look, I'll explain it all when you get here. Great! We'll be heading out now. Come on, fellas. We've got a big assignment. I overheard. Sounds like a bad case of intersector radio flagellant interference. Oh, those are hard to resolve, given Alliance rules banning contact with uncivilized planets. But in this case, someone's planning to destroy the transmission source and billions of living beings. So we'll probably get the okay to fix it however we can. Let's get to Glaflocks and hear more about it. Sounds good. Let's start the launch sequence. Yes, sir. Set course for Glaflocks. Check course set. Start engines. Check engines started. Activate shields. Check shields up. Registration. Proof of insurance? Check. All okay. Ready for launch. And off we go. Uh, parking brake. Oh, thanks. And off we go. this time of year. Indeed. This is when the cremulacs on the hills are scabulizing. And the clouds are all pink with flubian spores. Uh, oh. hmm. Perhaps you've heard that Flurg has made the top ten in retirement destinations. Oh. You think we have time for a game? Oh, you think you're up for a battle of wits? Eh? Why not? You go first. Bold opening move. Hmm, how to respond? Come on! There. I've heard a few things about this Earth. They say it's a slave planet, and some say they're cannibals. Technically, it's classified a primitive helitage. Over successive Earth centuries, they've become less and less intelligent, while technologically becoming more dangerous. To themselves, that is. What's the issue? Some kind of virus? Mutation? No, deranged ruling class. A small subset variously abuse the remainder whom they consider inferior. Terrible shame. That's just appalling. What a waste. Aha! Uh -huh. I best you again. And just in time. Behold, Glaflox. Glaflox. Glophilial centrics of the Omniverse. Seat of the great alliance of free planets and renowned citadel of knowledge. Our friends head straight for the famed capital city and omniversal administrative center, Snarb. As our friends set down at the palace of the Prime Suggestors, little do they know what fate awaits them. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Nimgod.